guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tiara michelle back with another video as you guys may or may not know i left colorado i no longer live there and i am about to pcs and move to my next duty station i am currently on leave right now visiting my family for a little bit and then i will head out to the next location i know some of you guys may be wondering i did color my hair it is actually like a gold and a little bit red it's supposed to be red but it's actually more so burgundy and i did it with the hair paint wax that i normally use and um for those of you guys that have never seen it or seen me do it it rinses off in two minutes so it is not real color nor real dye okay guys sorry i had to kind of move a little bit because the glare from my mirror was a little annoying but so a lot of you guys know i did ask for you guys to ask me any questions that you may have regarding military or any questions about me specifically more so military i'm going to go ahead and get started the first question is does ag get more difficult as you get promoted or easier as you get promoted just like with anything in life as you promote you have increased responsibility and i feel like that's like that with anything with that said most definitely NAG, like any other branch as well, you do have increased responsibility as you promote, which also makes things just a little bit difficult for sure, but everybody's different. So what may be more difficult for one person may not be difficult for the other. Number two says, I'm in ROTC starting my MS3 year in August, should I Brad so for it? So to be honest with you, I really don't know what Brad so means. <laughs> In ROTC, we just had ADSO and we had Branch Detail. So I don't know if that's a acronym for Branch Detail Additional Service Application. I don't know. But um, if it is, to answer that question, that is a personal question. I can't really answer that for you. For me personally, I would not brad so because of the fact that I don't want anything over my head. When I am done with what I signed up to do, I want to be done with it. Well, of course, if I like it, then I'll keep going. But with everything I dealt with, I have an opportunity in 2022 to get out of the military because I don't have anything additional that I owe the military. What if things were going crazy for me next year, God forbid, and I'm like, I just can't do this anymore and I want to get out. But I ended up, I guess, Brad so for AG and now I have to stay in for an additional three years doing a job that I don't like you know it wasn't what it you know it wasn't all what it was made out to be and now I'm stuck I hope that makes sense for me personally I would not brad so for anything but like I said you have to soul search number three is something that I get asked all the time whether it's personally in my dms or here on youtube or whatever and that is, what did you do to AG, to branch AG? So honestly, I worked really hard in ROTC. I was number one on our OML. So I ranked number one in my ROTC class, my MS3 year. And that was, you know, with PT test, PT in general, with my studies and character. And I ranked number one which opened up a lot of opportunities for me. So with that said, when we did the ranking, I put AG as my second choice and I ended up getting my second choice. Number four says, if you were in ROTC knowing what you know now, would you still put AG or a different branch? I would 185% pick a different branch. As I said before, AG was not what I thought it was going to be. Number five, I've heard it's not good to put AG in top choices because super high chance of getting branch detailed into combat branch for four years. Um, I don't really know that for sure. That's not something that was proven. It did kind of seem like some of the people I know that picked AG did get branch detailed, but I did not. And to be honest with you, I don't fully remember that whole process, but I really, I really don't know how some people got AG, just AG, and how some people got branch detailed, but yes. But I'm gonna be honest with you though, I was really afraid of branch detailing anything, but I would personally say, don't be afraid of trying something different. 
for me, AG was not all what it was made out to be. And I would hate for you to not have been able to have an opportunity to see something different. Branch detailing gives you a chance to kind of explore. This was technically part of this question, but I split it up into two because it, I didn't know if it was a question or if it was just a statement, but it says, seems like AG are underappreciated and constantly stressing. So yes, that is 100% true from my perspective and my experience. I said that in my video as well, that AG, it just seems like no matter what you do, you are a horrible person, you don't do anything right, you suck. And those are things that I've heard either personally or personally to me directly or to my soldiers or to my shop or whatever. Always seems like you just work super, super hard just for people to come back and have something negative to say. But like I always say, it depends on the person. Next one is from Miss Yvonne. I went ahead and said her name because I don't think I've ever been able to really say something to you on the camera verbally. It's always been like through text, but you're absolutely the sweetest person ever. I so appreciate you. I thank you so much. I feel like out of anybody that has been subscribed to my channel, I definitely will never forget you because you constantly reach out. You're constantly, you know, saying all these nice things. You write so well and you really do feel like an internet auntie to me. So thank you so much for all of your support and for just following my journey. Okay, so the question from her is, she said, I'm a complete newbie to all things military and I'm learning as I go. Um, or as you go through your experiences. Sorry guys, by the way, I wrote all this stuff down, so. With that said, with your love of airplanes and your experience in the army, if you could talk to your younger self, what would you advise her, or sorry, would you advise her to join the Air Force or to follow a different path slash job assignment in the army? Yes, I do love airplanes. However, I do want to let that be known that my love for airplanes is more so, I just really like to fly on airplanes, but I wouldn't necessarily say that I would want to be like a pilot or anything of that nature. But I wouldn't ever mind like flight attendant. Yes, definitely talking back to my younger self, I would tell her, you know, to potentially join the Air Force because the experience I feel like would have been a lot better. Just different things that you have to deal with in the Army you don't have to deal with in the Air Force. Of course, the grass is not always greener on the other side, but I feel like I definitely would have had a better experience in the Air Force, yes. I don't think I would necessarily tell my younger self to not join the military because my younger self was always curious about the military and was always really supportive of it. But I do wish sometimes that I would have, you know, maybe had a little bit more time to experience it firsthand other than being a dependent i think i definitely would have told my younger self to like really hone into what it is that i really wanted to do thank you for that question you're super sweet and once again thank you so much for your support hey guys last two next one is from some other people that have been really great and they've been here for a while so definitely caitlin thank you so much mel thank you and if I missed anyone, I'm so sorry, but um, I just really wanted to verbally thank the people that have been here for a very long time and have been supporting, and you guys mean a lot to me, so thank you. What helped you make the transition to living on your own in a new state easier? Uh, honestly, I would say really exploration. Getting out and exploring the state that I lived in really helped me, and honestly, just really allowing myself to make friends. You know, I'm one of those that's crazy, right? Like, I wanna make friends. I do really would like to have friends, but well, that's another topic for another day, but making friends sometimes. I'll wait. Okay. So, um, sorry guys, if you guys hear talking, my mom has some people here and they're talking right now, but I actually allowed myself to make friends and I allowed myself to be a little bit open. Sometimes I kind of hate that, but sometimes I think it was good that I allowed myself to meet people, which gave me also another opportunity to explore other things and to learn about the all the things Colorado had to offer. Going to church um, really helped me 
I met some people through that way. It definitely helped me to transition. Okay guys, lastly, the question is, how do you adjust to not seeing your family regularly on a daily basis? It is hard. It is really hard sometimes. I find myself calling a lot and FaceTiming a lot, but sometimes it seems like my family has a lot of things to do and they're really busy. But I'm gonna be honest with you, sometimes I don't feel like I really fully adjusted to being away from my family. It is something that is definitely very hard for me. And even now, like moving away from my family as well is a pretty difficult thing. But we'll talk about that when I get back from my social media break. It, it is hard. But I think the thing is, is that you create family, which also goes to that next to that question before, you kind of start to establish your own family when you're living in new locations. I think it's just, for some reason, the people that I'm put, that are put in my path, they're just there for a season and they help me get through certain things. And after that, they usually show their true colors. It's kind of unfortunate. And that is why I don't really have friends or you don't see people around me. That's something we can talk about in the future. So it, it is hard, but some people do become like family to you and it kind of makes up for you not being around your family, but it is hard. So I do want to let that be known that it's it's never been easy for me just to, okay, bye fam, I'm out. It's always really, really, really hard for me. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys hit that bell button so you guys are notified every time I post a video. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button next to the bell button so that way you're notified every time I post a new video. It's free. Also, make sure you guys thumbs us up and make sure you guys comment something. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Much love.